Welcome to Craving Solutions everyone. So today we're going to be checking out this RF modulator. Uh, we are in our travel trailer and I thought I'd set up, um, put together a review and show you guys the different setups. Uh, basically we have uh, three different RF modulators from uh, cheaper ones to more expensive ones. And right now we're actually using one of the more expensive ones. Um, so we have the um, V Coax Mini Mod 2 Plus. Um, it's a basically, um, again, an RF modulator. It'll convert your coax connection to, uh, or actually convert your, H your HDMI to a coax connection. So this is the current setup we have uh, because we, through our travel trailer, we had multiple TVs and they all had coax and uh, we figured this would be the best way is to convert the HDMI signal so that everybody could be watching together to a coax um, signal. And um, as you see, the quality is pretty great uh, this is an older tv there's other tvs that show the quality a little bit better although some of them look a little bit distorted this tv while it's older um i think it's tuner just works a lot better with this and it's not showing um the other ones have some pixelation uh and some distortion um i'll probably take you to that tv in a moment so i could show you guys what happens uh but basically uh this uh from all the testing that i've done uh, this it works the best one. The problem is this thing costs almost I think about $400. Uh, this thing is very very expensive. Um, you know I, I don't know who wants to spend this kind of money on it uh, but if you're looking for what's gonna work best for um, an RF modulator uh, again to convert your HDMI to a coax uh, this is gonna be your best bet. Um, I also did upgrade the hardware which I will uh, provide a link um, or actually not the hardware the software because it gives you guys an additional setting if we could do a close-up over here and um, it does a and when you go to general settings you can go in here and pick the video quality and change the different video qualities um, going a little bit more in depth in case this is important for anyone uh, basically for demodulation options uh, all the other TVs only would work under the 256 it would not work under the 64 so that's kind of important to note um, as for the channel setup uh, we have it set to USA cable um, which you're gonna set here and actually the advanced settings um, or actually not the advanced settings just the general setup uh, USA cable that's what we picked um, and then the video quality was high and then after that you can go in here we did channel 13 um, and honestly, I don't think this is the most important one. The one that matters is uh, the channel main number and the uh, sub number. Uh, so we have 13 1. Um, okay, so moving on from this, and also it's set to interlace and 1080. Okay, so here we're on the other TV, and I think you probably already got a glimpse of that. Um, you could see the pixelation. Uh, again, this is a newer LED TV, um, so it's tuner, I guess, is just. Um, um, uh, again more up-to-date I suppose and again it causes all this pixelation to happen it's kind of obnoxious uh, to sit here and watch it this way um, so I'm not sure what we're gonna do uh, but again the quality is great but um, it just that pixelation can tend to be a, annoying um, you know I don't know if you could look past it then uh, again you're either gonna have to switch your TVs out or deal with it if your TV is doing this Okay, we'll pause again and go on to the next So, uh, this is the next one we have. This one costs about like maybe $40, $50, $60. $50. you will see a lot of these in Amazon. Um, it, it doesn't really have any brand name to it. Uh, it just comes in this basic box right here uh, with some basic instructions. Anyway, um, as you see, uh, the quality is not all that good. Um, I have tried to play around with the settings here um, to try to... Uh, if we can close up, it was just a show adjustment, an RF adjustment. But no matter, like, I mean, it's just never going to get as good as the, the other settings. Um, no matter what I did. I mean, I, I mean, it doesn't look, like, too bad. Let's look at it. It's not incredibly bad, but um, the other one is definitely better. Um, and especially when you're seeing text... Oh, yeah, this is the, this is really the best that we're gonna get. Um, so, recommend getting this one at all. 
um, and it actually for some reason would not work uh, through our stereo system. I had to um, connect the HDMI directly to it. Uh, but otherwise, um, this is your next best option, um, I believe, in terms of quality. Uh, if you don't want to spend the $400 and you want to spend only $40, this is your next bet. We'll pause here and we'll... Okay, so this next one, you'll probably see a decent amount of them on uh, Amazon. I will link all three of these products in, in the description. Um, again, here's the quality. It's almost up. Like, I want to say the other one is better than this one, but the difference is not that big to where, um, to where I'm not, to where I notice much. Um, all its settings are done through the remote. There's no settings on the actual device itself. It's just uh, the coax connection, power, and HDMI in. That is it. Um, but then you have your, um, settings here. You could go through the menu and um, switch everything. Um, NTC or NTSC um, M is the one that has the color. Every other setting has it just black and white. Um, uh, I was able to change uh, the width and the height of the to fill the screen a little bit better. Um, so the, there, there, there is a little bit more options on this, I suppose you could say. Um, but that that is pretty much all it's got going for it. Um, you know, yeah, there's not a whole lot that you could, um, I mean, there's a few settings that you could do uh, on the mode for the settings um, that you pick. Um, this is my settings, uh, this is normal, and this is soft. So anyway, and this is bright. So I preferred the user setting, which again, you could just do through the menu, change your brightness, contrast, etc. Um, but aside from that, this also costs, you could probably get it between 30 to $40. Uh, very close to the other the, the other one again. None of these are very uh, are any name brands or anything um, But again, I will link them in the description um, So again, the best one is going to be the first one that I reviewed um, I Hope this uh, I've never done any I've never reviewed any products before on my channel uh, But again hoping that this helps you find the solution to your problem if what you're looking for is to get a coax um, you know, a modulator that a RF modulator that can get your signal from HDMI to coax, then this is the solution for you. Uh, as always, be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Uh, really hoping to get to a thousand subscribers soon uh, with all your help. Um, and um, well, take care, everyone.